Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Mulhouse, the first fight of what is known as the Battles of the Frontier between Germany and France, which began at 5 a.m. on August 7, 1914, located in Mulhouse, Alsace. Intending to implement what was known as Plan 17, the French intended to secure the recapture of Alsace and then Lorraine, Germany. These were territories that France lost to Germany during the Franco-Prussian War of 1871. General Joseph Joffrey, the French commander, had directed both the French 1st and 2nd Army to engage as many German units as possible. The French 7th Corps, with the 14th and 41st Divisions, under the command of General Louis Bonneau, advanced to Mulhouse. On August 8th, Bonneau advanced and occupied Mulhouse, finding the Germans had abandoned it earlier. On August 9th, parts of the 14th and 15th Corps of the German 7th Army arrived from Strasbourg and attacked. The German infantry appeared out of the Hartz Forest early in the morning and advanced into the east side of the city. For no known reason, French command broke down at this point, leaving the French troops to fight isolated actions and to be pushed out of the city with heavy losses on August 10th. Bonneau withdrew his men towards Belfort. However, not much further north, the French 21st Corps made very costly attacks on the mountain passes, being forced back by the German 6th Army, who took 2,500 French prisoners. At this point, civilians were accused of attacking German troops who in turn subjected civilians to reprisals. General Bonneau was dismissed by Joffrey for his actions and replaced by General Paul Pau. The French forces in the area reorganized into a new Army of the Alsace to reinvade the area. In a series of attacks, the French army pushed back towards Mulhouse, and on August 18th, the French 7th Corps attacked Mulhouse and captured the town of Altkirch in the southeastern flank of Mulhouse. During this fighting, the German defenders were forced back from the high ground west of Mulhouse and into the suburbs, where heavy house-to-house -house fighting took place. By the evening of August 19th, the French had controlled the city. After being pushed back, the Germans withdrew back to the Hart Forest to avoid being encircled and crossed back over the Rhine River into deeper Germany. The French captured 24 guns, 3,000 prisoners, and a lot of equipment. With the capture of this area, the French had gained the control of the upper Alsace and consolidated their position and prepared to continue their offensive. This preparation was delayed when the French commanders heard of the French losses on their right flank to the German 7th Army. On August 26th, the French withdrew from Mulhouse to a more defensible area in Altkirch. The resulting losses were 4,000 killed, 2,500 captured on the French side, while the German army suffered approximately 3,000 killed and 3,000 captured. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition.